With everything that's been going on, a lot of you guys are really feeling comfortable saying the separation of church and state, and I'm not just saying this to be controversial, somebody said this to me on Twitter, was intended to protect Christianity. That's crazy. You want to know what the founding fathers thought of Christianity in government? Because I'm, I'm happy to quote. I'm happy to directly quote. Let's start with Jefferson. I'll quote him twice. One, Christianity neither is nor ever was part of the common law. And two, my, my preferred one, in every country and in every age, the priest has been hostile to liberty. Now let's move on to James Madison, who decided to take a more diplomatic approach to the subject. Quote, religion and government will both exist in greater purity the less they are mixed together. Let's do John Adams, because he perfectly, perfectly encompasses what I'm trying to say here with this quote. Quote, the government of the United States is not in any way founded on the Christian religion. And some of you guys aren't going to like this one, but let's close out with Thomas Paine, who really more accurately reflects my feelings on the subject. Quote, all national institutions of churches, whether Jewish, Christian, or Turkish, appear to me no other than human inventions set up to terrify and enslave mankind and monopolize power and profit.